89.5 FM, WBEW, Chesterton, Luis, here at Carter's Barbershop, 3622 West Cermak. Did I get that address right, Bert? All right. Now, what about um, sometimes in my church, I see people throw, like, uh, you know, $20 into, you know, to contribute, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then they'll pull out $10 and change. Is that rude? So, you see, it all goes back to your teachings, your foundation. Everybody always says, like, oh, the barbershop, this is the real talk happens, right? It's all like, you know what I mean? There's been movies about it and everything. And uh, so, naturally, of course, you know, hopefully we're going to go straight to where the real talk happens. As he announced that he was a police officer, they tried to run out of the door. Now, the door is locked. You can't get out. So, I'm like, these cats were just picking the wrong barbershop. And a matter of fact, that's what the guy, the police always say, y'all picked the wrong Mickey Ficken barbershop tonight. And then part of me was just like a little kid yelling and inside of me like, get him, <laughs> get him. And I was so glad that we had that kind of force behind us as opposed to being the victims of this situation. We was like, oh, you know what? Go police. Yeah, right. And I'm yelling, go police. And I'm like, <laughs> Wow, look at the tables turn on this one. There's conversations already happening, so you have to like keep your ear open and kind of jump in on them. And maybe we'll have uh, a guest, somebody scheduled to come in. But once that person's off the chair, if somebody's yelling across the barbershop, I'm trying to pull that person in to end uh, the person that we're yelling at and to sort of continue that conversation. You swap stories, you get advice. It can be therapeutic. It's that, that meeting space. It's that one catch-all for conversation. Politics, you know, home, work, uh, women, whatever the case may be. It's sort of like meeting at a bar but without drinking. You know, even now, there's a barbershop close to my house where I live now. And I went there, I had to go there for an emergency because of my rehearsal. And it, it pained me for my wedding. It pained me to go. The experience didn't feel right. It wasn't what I was used to. Yeah. Oh wait, okay, I gotta get the reaction. <laughs> I told you about this. I, I told you about this. Remember I told you? No, Oh see see now see, see now 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 that this it's it's BS going on right now. Right, 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 right. The doctor is in. I lived near 40th in Indiana and there was an L train there. And I was told at an early age, don't hop the train. Oh, wow. and my father would actually walk me to the train and I would see other kids, they would climb up through the tracks and they would take an L ride. And I'm not talking about jumping the turnstile, I'm talking about actually climbing up the tracks. Dang. And then you came up on the side of the platform and you got on the train. God, those things are like 30 feet in the air. Yes, I'm close. <laughs> What have you seen as a, a change since you've been in this community over the last 20 years? You know, the word I like to use is an erosion. Now, there has been some good things in the community, but the core of the community, the family of the community, has been eroded. A family. Fathers, fathers, men. Yeah. If I had to put my finger on it, I would say it would be fathers. With a radio station in the in the barbershop, you you start to get like inside that community. You get to know what's really going on. What do regular folks really think? Now, okay, how about this? All right, so you're you know, you're students, you're a young woman. And, uh, you know, you're networking. And, you know, you meet a gentleman. He's, you know, he's trading his card with you or whatever. But maybe you get the feeling that he's, like, you know, trying to holler a little bit. Right. How do you, you know, how do you handle that on both sides, I guess? I, I have met, you know, people in the field that will, actually, I met a guy in particular that gave me his card and said, after we discussed what we do for a living, he said, well, I want to take you out to dinner in a couple of weeks. First thing goes through my mind is that he's on company time trying to get a date. It's media friendly. It makes people feel like they can access media. Media is more 
you know, um, personal, as opposed to something that's removed, that's downtown, that's far away, that they don't have access to, that they have to call someone a hundred tip number to actually get a response. Let me ask you this, like when it comes to doing this whole music thing, I mean, it seems like you have to be rude. Like, everybody's rude, I imagine. I mean, it's, it's entertainment. It's business. I mean, nah, nah. It's not cool to be rude, well, at least not with me. I'm all for the radio station being in the barbershop. It shows North Lawndale in a more intelligent light, you know, because the stereotypes of any ghetto, you already know, ignorant, illiterate, all types of negative um, words are associated with people in the inner city. But coming here and even helping out with the hosting, I've seen so many and heard so many intelligent people walk through these doors, even people I didn't even know. So that's like the greatest thing in the world for me. It shows something other than stuff that you see on the wire, you know, and we need that. We really need that. Now you can turn on a vocal old radio station and find out how a portion of North Lawndale really feels. It's cool. Mo Turn it back. Foaming at the mouth. Mad dog. Shoot him.